I was a 14-year-old child one day in class and um, headmaster came in and said, who, uh, who leaves school before the 8th of January? Of course, about four of us put our hands up and then um, we went down to the secretary's office and the careers master's there. I, I was first in the queue and he said to me, what do you want to be, Frank? And I thought, the guy down the road who's a barber, he has a great life, people bringing him cups of tea, everybody's laughing, he's, he loves it, so I'll be a barber, I think. So I started on my birthday, the 7th of January, 1963, at eight o'clock prompt, and I retired three weeks ago on the 7th of January, 2013, uh, 50 years of barber. Can you remember a comic called Viz? Well, this gentleman came in for his haircut and he said, Frank, I've done you a picture, um, something uh, that uh, I just feel was a bit of fun. He says, don't be upset or uh, embarrassed by it. I said, no, I'm fine, I'm OK. So he did me this cartoon character called One Cup Connell. And it's, um, it's quite a funny, um, you know, sort of comic. So I think, uh, basically, as I say, I've, I've had some lovely people. We do the 10K every year. I go as the mummy, the mummy returns, I'm pushed around in a wheelchair and all the bandages. We, we go around the city, I'm pushed around, I think last year we did it in 59 minutes, which was pretty good because I'm a 14 stone slob and uh, this guy pushed me around which must have been bloody hard. I think we've raised roughly, Joe and myself, over the years about somewhere over a million pounds. Barbering has been very good to me, I've met a lot of people, a lot of famous people, a lot of funny people and um, I, I've had a very colourful career in the trade really over those years.